Hello there, this is Gerald C717. Welcome to Crossroads Inn. Uh, this is episode number six, and let's just go ahead and continue. And I think I'm going to be um, in the journal. We will claim the reward. I didn't claim it <clears throat> at the end of the last episode because I wanted to do this wedding thing this episode. I, I didn't want to start it. Uh, the prices are too high. Your employee is leveling up. Here we go. This inn has never looked better. I think we could let the bride and groom know we're ready. So are we going to start the party? Yes, let's get the party started. Begin wedding. Alrighty. Guests are coming. The time for preparations is over. Try your best to make every guest have as much fun as possible and don't be afraid to talk to them. Let's start this wedding already. One more thing, remember not to change decorations during the wedding. Our benefactors might think that not everything was ready on time. Fine, I will try not to mess with the decorations. While walking around the inn, you accidentally bump into the bride. Oh, you're the one our parents paid to organize today's event? I must confess that regardless of what my mother thinks, this is the happiest day of my life. So how do you like the wedding? Everything's perfectly organized, if you ask me. What do you, what do you like the most? The contents of the menu. I was just wondering if I should order another dish or... More, or more, maybe more alcohol. I better do both. Better beautiful dress. You think so? That's so nice. My mother was insisting that I wear a fancy dress, looted, of course, during a robbery, but I wanted a true country folk wedding, so this is the dress I chose. My paramour wasn't so fortunate. Your paramour wasn't so fortunate. Despite my protest, my mother forced him to wear a very fancy coat she had got God's knows where, but I must admit it, he does look very dignified in it. Okay. A happy man in a feathered outfit greets you with a smile. Salutations, innkeeper. Renmi told me a little bit about you. The Avery is grateful for your help, and what a great party this is. How do you like the wine? Very much so. Renmi's idea to enter his, this wine business was fantastic. I'm glad we got you involved in this too. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be here today having all this fun. Tell me, how did Avery get his name? How should I know? Maybe because us birdies like to walk on roofs and watch people from above. People say many different things. Keep having fun then. A young man more or less your age approaches you and smiles. Hello, innkeeper. I just wanted to quickly thank you on behalf of me and my beloved new wife. You did great. At first glance, I could have sworn that some nobleman was getting married in my inn. 
Well, my new mother-in-law insisted on this outfit. I agreed immediately, despite her daughter's protests. Truth is, my lovely mother-in-law scares me a little bit. Either way, I think that overall my betrothed likes me in this attire, regardless of what she's saying. Son of a miller and a daughter of an outlaw, how did this happen? <clears throat> One day, while walking through the forest, I was ambushed and kidnapped by a gang. In their camp, they realized that I, would, that I have nothing valuable on me, so everyone lost interest, except for one person, from whom it was me who had stolen something. I don't get it. What did she steal from you? From her? What? Her heart? I thought it was obvious. What is your opinion of these outlaws? Very resourceful people, and not as nasty as one would expect, especially one of them is quite pleasant to look at. Best of luck in your new life. Okay. Now I want the... I can't get to that. Let's get to this one here. Suddenly a smartly dressed, that rather drunk man bumps into you. It takes you a moment to recognize your benefactor. The groom's father. Hello, innkeeper. Are you the one responsible for this party? What a classy outfit. I'm not used to parade, <clears throat> parading around in such costly clothes, but Bride's mom gifted them to me. I mean, lit. Just for this occasion, so... What do you think about your son's beloved? Such a nice girl. Very kind. Her mother scares me a little, though. How do you like the wedding? To be honest, I've got mixed feelings on the decorations. Well, if that's all. <clears throat> that's all for now. End of conversation. There's one I still need to talk to. I can't get... There we go. <clears throat> a stately woman detaches herself from a group of guests and approaches you. Well met, innkeeper. Are you the one responsible for organizing my daughter's wedding? Your daughter looks stunning. That's obvious. She takes after me. Unless you mean that rag she's wearing. I tried to convince her to wear something that indicates her status, but she's stubborn. She's running around shoeless and she's happy happy but it's her day so she can do whatever she wants i hope everything is to your liking when it comes to decorations i'm not sure what to say oh if that's so you certainly did not earn any bonus for effort if that's what you're asking and that's all innkeeper end of conversation anybody else i think that's it oh. I need to talk to anybody else, do I? Everybody's here. <laughs> Rin me. Ah, oh, hello, innkeeper. Long time no see. I can't help but notice our wine is serving a higher purpose. Love. How do you like the wine? Same as always. Maybe even a little bit more. Who would have thought that this business will be so beneficial? All right, Remedy replying, Remedy claps hands. <clears throat> I've met your friend. Oh, I see you've met Bird. Bird? He's a good friend. You can rely on him. I knew he would show up if he heard about the wedding, and as always, he did not disappoint. Where did, where did the name Avery come from? The name of our organization comes from the dim and distant past, when we would meet on high on the rooftops of Yorville's capital city and scout for potential victims. Nowadays we still do that, but as you already know, we're also no strangers to more grounded and grounded level jobs. Yorville's capital city? Yorville's capital is the city of Ore. That's where the headquarters of the Avery are. You're not very good at basic geography, are you? And you tell, and you just tell everyone where your secret headquarters are located? Uh, this is none of your business, kid. I don't care what Martin says about you. I don't trust you enough. Let's try and have a pleasant talk. Talk about, talk about something else. 
How have you been doing? Oh no. Oh, these are not good times for the Avery. Why not? Oh, I told you, innkeeper, this is none of your business. I'm out of here. Oh, damn. Whatever. <laughs> That can't be good. Enough mugs. Uh oh. No guests can't drink. That's that asshole. You? You think I don't know what you did? You'll pay for this for everything. What in the heavens are you talking about, Rockbury? You've imported all that wine from Sambria and destroyed my business. Die in flames, you worms. Radbury, no. Oh, god damn! Oh, damn! He, he torched my place. Oh, damn! Oh. Rockberry went mad. When Martin got to him, it was already too late. A torch he'd tossed landed on the roof. The building went up in flames in an instant. Then, during the struggle, Martin's bandage slid off of his arm, revealing a tattoo. A tattoo that would lead up to a series of unexpected events. Meanwhile, the fire that was consuming the inn spread onto the nearby buildings and the vineyard that belonged to Rockbury himself. Terrified, the Duke stood and watched the aftermath of his actions. His senseless revenge was devouring his family's estate right before his eyes. It was the end of him. But it was also the end of the simple life Martin and his nephew had been living on the land belonging to the Duke. Old innkeeper knew that if they were to be safe, they needed to find a new home. You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. What are you talking? You got no in. <laughs> uh, let's pause it. Okay, wait a moment. Western outskirts of Crossroads by the old oak tree. This must be the place. That bastard merchant said there'd be an hort. There'd be a house here. We've been scanned, boy. Relax, Martin. We'll figure something out. The important thing is we've managed to escape with our lives, thanks to you. And this was a what? Um, relationship with our Titan, that's not a good one. They're all the same. Yeah, okay, Daniel, let's see. Why did we even, why did we even come here? Rockbury's ruined. He hardly has anything left, let alone any means of hurting us. Huh? Did you buy a house not knowing if it exists? It's not like you to be so reckless. And why did we have to leave in such a hurry anyway? We could always come. We could always go back and stick this land up. Wait, we could always go back and stick this land so far up his. <laughs> um, there, we're gonna go with this one here. Success. You're right, and thank you. I know that somehow we'll pull through. As always do, we always do, and and we're going to build a new inn right here. A new inn? Yes, a new inn. Bigger, finer, finest in all the land, in fact. Well, it's nice to dream and all, but without money, dreaming is just about all we could do. I don't think we're going to find another miller happy to pay us in advance for his son's wedding or something. First one. Well, it's nice to dream and all, but without money, dreaming is just about all we could do. Not to worry, boy. We'll take a loan. A loan? I guess that could work. I'm marking on your map the close, closest bank. Go there and get us some money. In conversation. 
Okay. And we are got nothing. Our fame is up to 10. All right, where would that bank be? I mean, the bank be. Hmm. Let's see if this says anything. Okay, that didn't tell me anything either. <coughs> what does this say? Go loan from the bank. Mart has marked on the map the location of the closest bank. Go there and take a loan. And take as much as you can. The end has to be great. Maybe I need to unpause it and it'll show up. That has to be where I'm at. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this would have to be it here. Loan of Yorvel. Take a loan. Take as much as I can. $22,000. Return in 20 days? I'm not going to be able to make that in 20 freaking days. Well, he tells me to do it. I'm going to do it. Bam. Do I actually go there? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this. Okay. <clears throat> I think this would actually be a good place to save this, just in case. Save game. Um, um, let's see, new, new in, save. That way, in case I have to come back, if I screw up, I could come back to this, save game. Um, well, they say that money doesn't bring happiness, but I sure feel better having it. Let's get to work, my boy. It's time to build the soon-to-be-famous Crossroads Inn. I'm on it. Any suggestions on where to start? Ha! Huh, you already know all you need to, to build a fine inn, my boy. And you can always consult the innkeeper's journal. In conversation. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Okay, I have done that. Build the crossroads in. Using your okay. Place seats next to tables. Place a shelf and at least two barrels in the end. Build the main hall. Set up tables. Set up a counter, hire an employee, add alcohol to the menu, build an outhouse, obtain alcohol, unlock a new social group in the inn's keeper's journal. Okay, we will do that. Let's go ahead and close that. And um, you know what? I am going to actually end this episode here, and I'm going to continue this next episode. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you got any suggestions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and we'll get started on building the end next episode. It might take me the entire episode to do this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna try to try to do my best and try to, to make it look good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because... Only like 30% 30, 30 of the people that view my, that are, that only percent of the people that view the my videos are subscribed, are subscribed to my channel. So please feel free to subscribe. And I also have a, um, 
um, subscription, not subscriptions, memberships activated on this channel as well. Uh, if, if you would like, please consider becoming a member. It would help me out a great deal. Thanks for watching, and we will go ahead and see you next time.